just how hot is it on the underground? This is going to tell us. Okay, so we're on the platform and it's already up to nearly 31 degrees down here. Up to 31.2 now, 31.5. That's already over two degrees warmer than it was outside the station in the fresh air. So as part of this experiment, we're riding just 10 minutes, so a few stops to Bond Street, which is a few stops west which is supposed to simulate what somebody might do on their commute. So we're now we've broken the 32 degree barrier at 32.3 degrees. There we go, 32.9. Data from late June to mid-July shows the temperatures on the central line during the afternoon commute are always above 28 degrees. The threshold weather forecast is used to define a heat wave in London. Bloomberg's London Tube Heat Index shows the difference between temperatures on the train and the surface. That difference can be as much as five degrees, with the highest temperature recorded on June 30th, peaking at almost 34 degrees. So on some of the newer lines on this network, they do tend to have air conditioning. That's not the case on these older lines. Now there are plans on some of them to introduce air conditioning, so the Piccadilly line, that is a conversation that's ongoing, they are planning to do that. But for this summer, right now, it's not available yet, and these commuters really have no choice but to brave these really hot temperatures on their way to work.